and America, we are ready to distribute that vaccine. Just as we did last week with Pfizer, we are prepared. So what does the playbook look like? Distribution of Moderna vaccine has already begun. We start with the COO of Operation Warp Speed making the announcement that the Moderna vaccine has started to be distributed. Now, General Gustav Perna also apologized to those states that didn't receive the anticipated doses of the Pfizer vaccine, but he expects 20 million doses of both vaccines to be delivered by the end of the month. And thousands of those doses are making their way to South Florida hospitals. Now, because the Moderna vaccine does not need to be stored in special freezers, it's expected to be more widely available. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo has more. Close to 370,000 doses of Moderna vaccine will soon be on the way to South Florida. Late Friday, Moderna was given emergency use authorization. It will be delivered directly to several hospitals throughout early next week. The feds say it's 94% effective and doesn't require the ultra-cold storage like the Pfizer vaccine. CBS4 spoke to White House Deputy Communications Director who says don't get too comfortable yet. Sense is not widely available. Watch your distance, wear your mask, wash your hands. It's a time to be careful. We don't want to overwhelm our health care system. Hospitals to receive Moderna vaccine are Jackson Memorial Hospital, Baptist, Broward Health, Cleveland Clinic, Holy Cross Health, Coral Gables, and Hylia Hospital. Memorial Hospital told CBS4 News they are not expected to receive Moderna as they are part of the five hospitals selected to receive Pfizer. Over in Baptist Hospital, close to 2,000 frontline health care workers have been vaccinated and they expect to receive their first allocation of Moderna vaccine early next week. And we'll have those two vaccines on the market next week. Uh, shots in the arm. That's very exciting. According to the Florida Health Department, more than 32,000 individuals have been vaccinated for COVID-19 in the state. But as more shipments arrive, experts expect this to put us closer to lower hospital numbers and to a more normal life. By the time we get to several months into this year, we will have enough people protected that we can start thinking seriously about the return to normality. And for more information on vaccines in South Florida, you can go to the Department of Health website. In Miami, Jessica Vallejo, CBS4 This Morning.